The actor for Eiffel is different. The first one was unavailable. Jessica ran away! Ugh, well, what should I do with you two? We found this at the diner, like I said earlier. And what does that have to do with me? That just means I was eating at the diner and I lost a shoe. What do you want from me? You wouldn't have walked all the way here if you had lost a shoe and not noticed. Uh... What do you mean? I haven't lived in Alabama for a really long time. I'm used to being barefoot. Oh my gosh. No, you wear these cleats every day. Mm -hmm. You would have noticed if you lost it. Plus, the diner was wrecked with your shoe in it. They're on to me. So how do you explain that? Uh, I, yeah, talk, Marie. Um, what do you care? You're just some pretty fancy girls from France. Stop that! Don't talk about my friend that way. Here's what a day is like in my shoes. By the way, my parents are dead. Whoa! Whoa! Good morning, world. But also good morning to another day of school. <sighs> I'll grab my purse. Got it. Now I need to grab my bag for school and off I go. All right, I'm all ready. Let's go to school. I'm just gonna wait for my friend Eiffel. Oh, here she comes now. Are you ready to go to school, Eiffel? Sure am. Let's go! Alright, well, I'm gonna head inside if that's okay. Yep, it's fine with me. I'll see you in there. Oh, sorry. I actually have to go this way. I'm going into the uh, group for math. Oh, yeah. Bye! Uh, you're on my desk again. And you think I care fancy France? I mean, you're so fancy, you could sit anywhere. The teacher would let you. You don't know what it's like to be me. Why won't you just back off? Well, first of all, you're so fancy. And second, not all of us can be rich like you. How are we supposed to know what it's like? Don't be such a crybaby. I feel like something's wrong with my friend. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, sweetie, of course. Wait, is that Eiffel? She always knows when I'm in trouble. You know, Marie, what you do actually hurts people. You need to lay off. Well, it doesn't hurt me, so you think I care? Ha, I'm gonna leave. You always know what to do. No problem. All right, the chairs and desks are stacked because school's up. And, ah, oh, dang it, it started raining. What should we do, France? Maybe we should go to the diner. That's a great idea. We'll make the rainy day fun. Good thing I brought an umbrella. I looked ahead at the weather. Great idea. All right, well, let's go. Almost there, it's in sight. Hello, valued customers. On this wonderful rainy day, what would you like to eat? Can I please have a coffee and a slice of pizza? Of course. And can I please have a pizza and a hot cocoa? Of course. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot they had hot cocos. Uh, make that two, please. Two hot cocos and a coffee? No coffee. Oh, okay. Well, um, would you like booth or stools? We'll sit at the booth. Oh, alrighty. It's just that way. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, it's ready to serve. 
here you are. And by the way, I dyed your cocoa pink because I figured from looking at your outfit, you like pink. Just like everyone else thinking we like pink. You know, you don't have to be so down about it. I mean, you're still living life and you're here, right? Yeah, it's just hard. I know. Well, let's eat. Yeah. Here, girls, everybody is required to read this. Okay. If you know who wrecked the diner, please report them. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we're having dinner, and maybe we should just sleep on it and decide. Good idea. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. bye. All right, well, I'm going to change into my PJs. All right, time to go to bed. I hope I'm not bullied again on Monday. Bing! Oh, what does my text say? It says that I need to get ready quickly and come over to Marie's house. I wonder what's up. Bing! Oh, what's that one? It's urgent! It's urgent. I gotta go. We're here. Hopefully she lets me in quickly. It's raining. I gotta go. Well, okay. What was so urgent was I just wanted to say now that I know who you really are and what you're actually like, I'm really sorry. I, I, I didn't know I was hurting people and I know that's no excuse. Will you ever forgive me? I told you that you were hurting people and you were being so mean to, to France, but you didn't listen. I know, I, I, made, a, I made a stupid mistake. And I, I, there's no excuse for what I've done. I'm so sorry. I guess there's just something going on with me that I can't exactly put my finger on it, but I guess I just thought everybody else needed to feel the same way. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you, but that is no excuse for how you treated me and Sammy and everybody else you bullied. And I'm sorry that you feel that way, but that is absolutely no excuse. So I'm turning you into the police for crashing the diner. <gasps> so I'm sorry, but I'll never forgive you for what you did. I didn't even want to come to school because of you. The police are on their way, and that'll teach you a lesson to never be mean to anyone again. No, I'm running! No! Ugh, I, ugh. Stop, in the name of the law. Oh no, uh, 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 I have nowhere to go. I'm gonna be arrested. You're coming with me. That'll teach you to bully. Never destroy the diner again. Ugh.